right, today I'm going to be showing you how to make our really quick Insta mask with these few simple materials. Um, you can make it right from your home, less than five minutes, no sewing required. So I'm going to take you through this step by step video and you can see how easy it is to protect yourself and your family. Okay, so here is going to be our final product. You have the section that's going to protect your mouth and nose and you have the four straps so you can secure it to your head. So what we're going to use is a standard cotton pillowcase, scissors, any kind of measuring device, uh, ruler, tape measure, some kind of writing utensil so that you can make marks on your pillowcase, and a regular 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. Okay, so we have our 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper here, and I have it long ways in front of me. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold over this 1.5 inches long ways, and so now I have a paper of seven inches wide, okay? So, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this. We have our pillowcase laid out right here. I'm gonna lay this piece of paper so that the long edge of the pillowcase lines up with the short edge of the piece of paper on this one side. Got it? Next, I'm gonna take my ruler and I'm gonna measure 12 inches <clears throat> from the bottom of the pillowcase to the bottom of my paper. So, six. 12. Okay, there we go. So we're going to go from here to here, our finished product. Um, so you can see here the paper represents what's going to be covering your nose and mouth. And what I'm going to show you now is cutting this long cut here to make the straps. Okay, so this cut is the first critical uh, non-reversible step. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a few marks with our Sharpie or pen to make sure we are cutting in the right places. So the first mark I'm going to make is right here at the bottom edge of the paper. This is our 12 inches that we measured before. So we know where to put the paper again. So what we're going to do is I'm going to move my paper down to the bottom edge of the pillowcase. And I'm going to make one mark here on the side edge of the paper at the bottom of the pillowcase so I know where to start my long cut. And I'm going to move the paper all the way down to the other end and I'm going to make the same mark on this end so that I know where to start the cut from this side. And when that's done I'm just going to go ahead and put the paper right back at this 12 inch mark so we can make our cut. So now I'm going to make my cut doing this as carefully as possible just where I made my mark. I'm going to go right down the line, right alongside my paper. And I'm going to finish where I made the mark at the top of my kilo pillowcase, just like that. So now we are left with this strip, and this is what we're going to make our final mask out of. So the next step we are going to measure out the widths for the four straps. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure on here. I'm going to measure here, 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 and here. All one and a half inches. And I'm going to show you where to mark and how to cut it. Okay, so next we are going to make eight measurements of one and a half inches and eight small marks to go with those. Okay, so I'm going to start down here in the bottom left corner. I have my ruler. I'm going to measure one inch and a half and make a small mark right there. And then I'm going to move to the bottom right. Do the same thing. One and a half inches. Make the mark on the inside. Okay, now I'm going to move up to the left side bottom edge of my paper and I'm going to make the same measurement. One inch and a half. Make a mark. And the right side of the paper. One inch and a half. Small mark there. Okay. Moving up to the top of the paper. One and a half inches. Now the top right of my paper. Same thing, one and a half inches. Top left corner of my pillowcase, one and a half inches. Top right corner of my pillowcase, 
one and a half inches. And so now you can see we have two marks at the top, four in the middle with the paper, and two on the very bottom. So to make the cutting a little bit easier, we are going to draw two quick lines on the top and bottom of this paper. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect the mark I just made and trace along the bottom edge of the paper to the mark on the right side. And I'm gonna do the same exact thing on the top. Connect the mark on the left, follow along the paper, and stop at the mark on the right. And now we can remove our paper and we see exactly where it needs to be. So now our paper is gone, we have all our marks drawn. I'm gonna show you where we're gonna cut before I actually cut because we need to go nice and carefully and make sure we don't make any mistakes. We don't wanna use up every pillowcase you have in the entire house. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start here at the bottom right mark and you're gonna cut all the way here, all the way up until you reach your first mark where you made by your paper. You're gonna to wanna to stop right there. And now you're gonna cut along this line and you're gonna stop at this mark. Now you're gonna turn again and you're gonna cut all the way to the bottom and finish your cut there. And this square, this rectangle will be removed. And now we're gonna repeat the same thing for the top and I will show you what the cuts look like in the next step. Okay, so now we have our final product. Uh, the longer arms are gonna be for the top of your head and the shorter arms are gonna go more around your neck. And I'm gonna show you how to put it on in the next step. So here we have the top and the bottom below. Okay, now that we have our final product, I'm gonna show you how to put the mask on and how to properly tie it so that it's secured to your face. Okay, so I'm holding the long straps and I'm gonna put it over my nose and mouth like this so that it's centered and I'm going to tie the top strap first you can just do a simple double knot as tight as you would like ideally you want to tie it tight so that you don't have to touch your face or touch the mask anymore while you're wearing it because the idea is to keep your hands away from your face same thing on the bottom Double knot. Top knot, bottom knot secured. And the mask is tight, it's not going anywhere. I have full range of motion, I can breathe. There we go. So in this video, I have taken you through how to make our Insta mask from simple common household items. Um, you can see now our model matches the example from the beginning. Um, so please share this video, um, teach others how to make these masks. It's very important that we can get as many people uh, protected as possible so that we can slow the spread of the virus. Um, it's important to remember that these are not N95 respirators, okay? Um, however, the CDC, the Center for Disease Control, does recommend that anyone leaving the house wears a cloth-based face covering, and that's exactly what these are. Um, also, it's critical to maintain that six feet social distancing at all times, even when you're wearing the mask. That's important to remember. Um, I'm linking in the description below the CDC's full article on cloth-based um, face coverings and their recommendations. There's a lot of great information on that page. Um, they're constantly updating it. Definitely check that out. So that is it for today. Um, please stay safe and we will beat this together.